told them, I told them already, they were cooking bad soup when they called me. Osuko spoke on Obaseki's alleged successor. So this is what is happening. Uh, we know that Godwin, Governor Godwin Obaseki has a planned uh, candidate at heart. Someone he intends to take over from him. His deputy, Felix Shwaibo, has indicated interest. However, uh, he has not looked at that and he has said, no, uh, Felix Shwaibo, go and sit down. Let somebody else get into that position. And so this man is speaking about, you know, what has been going on. Say, I told them. I did. I told them that when they came to me and said, Obaseki has a candidate that they were cooking. But so there's a lot going on in Edo State right now. And you cannot begin to imagine, you know, the tension that all this is causing, how the people are, you know, people are seeing the whole of this. Obaseki, Felix Shwaibu, it's just, it's just really, you know, it should not be this way. That's bottom line. It should not be this way. But when you see people trying to fight for, you know, fight for uh, position, you know that there is really, there is really issues. And every single person begins to wonder what next. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news let's get all the details i told them they were cooking bad soup when they called me osoko speaks on obaseki's alleged successor a chieftain of the people democratic party and businessman martins osoto has said that is wrong for the governor of a state to determine his successor he insists that allowing governors to pick their successor blocks the major ingredients of democracy and should not be allowed. When asked about Governor Gordon Obaseki, a less successor, Igodalo, the PDP chieftain said he is not aware of any contribution the politician has made to Edo State as a whole, talk less of him coming to become the state governor. Osoko disclosed that when he was called on the matter, he warned those involved that they were cooking bad soup. According to him, I don't know him. We don't know him. I have, prayed, I have played politics here for more than 40 years, since 1978. I was in UPN, United Party of Nigeria. I was a founding member of the People Democratic Party. When you know people that you know they are they are what and what they are. I looked at this man. What has he done for the constitution which, which he is from? Has he educated a single child? What has he done for education? How many people is he training? What free education program does he have? How has he contributed to Edo State? What has he done for the community? There are... People in Edo Central, you can, you can present to us. That is what leadership does. Not impose anybody on anybody. They called me. I told them, you are cooking bad soup. I did not miss words. That bad soup is already rotten. The project is dead on arrival. Obaseki has no clue what he's about to do. This is the same thing Oshomole did to him. And he was against it. The morals of transparency, allowing the people, discussing with the leadership of the party and making an informed decision will go a long way rather than trying to impose yourself on the people. Obaseki is about to make a major mistake. He better be careful because the other party is ready to slip it off your feet as soon as possible. So this is exactly what is happening and every single person can see that things are becoming more than you can imagine. Nigerians, it is important that every one of us, you know, take a very, very close look at some of these things going on and pay great attention and do not allow the same thing over and over again. There is serious, urgent need for every single person to arise, okay, and bring this nation to where it needs to be. doesn't matter. We start from the state level to the federal level, and that's why even the state is important, okay? And that's why even the state is important, and so every one of us must pay good attention and ensure that the right things are done. You know, with politics in Nigeria today, it feels very strongly that some persons just want to, you know, exercise themselves and they feel that they are the, the air that Nigerians breathe, that they are, you know, the, uh, Nigerians are privileged to get them. 
I don't know where that mentality came from. Mind and a heart, truly ready to, to, you know, to serve and to be there. What we see is a different ball game altogether. What we see is, you know, is all these people trying to impose themselves on Nigerians, you know, trying to insist that they are the ones who own whatever. And they own nothing, truly, sincerely, truly speaking. They own nothing, you know. And so Nigerians, it is high time that every one of us, okay, do things that will move us forward, okay? Uh -huh. So it is, it is important. It is important that we do, not, we do not allow the same thing over and over again. So what we need to do right now is to ensure that this country becomes the country for every single person and we rise up and, you know, change the course of what is going on right now. Okay? So it is, it is important. It is very, very important. My lovely people, do not forget, we all have a part to play and we must make this nation, you know, give all the opportunity we can. Let's not just sit back there and assume that things are going to fall in place if we do not rise up and bring, you know, bring the nation and bring the people out of the current despair, ensuring that we, 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 write, we, 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 we contribute our quota effectively. Okay, so Nigerians, it is important. Every one of us have a part to play. And so nobody should sit back there and just assume that everything is falling in place if we do not do that which is right, needed, and necessary. It is important that we all rise up. Okay? Look at the people we look at the people we call leaders. Okay? Look at the look at the people we call we call leaders. Look at what they are doing. See how we are going about things. So every one of us must rise up and and you know do the needed the need the needful to change the course of what is going on today nigerians we cannot uh, afford to be quiet and allow things to go you know just the way they are it is important yes very very important remember if things work every one of us you know must every one of us will enjoy it if nigeria begins to work today nobody cares if you are from the east you are from the west you are from the south Every single person will enjoy the good road, good electricity. Everyone will enjoy it. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. And so we must do everything needed to change the course of what is going on today. And make Nigeria a better place. Because if the country works, we will all enjoy it. Okay? If the country works, we will all enjoy it. God bless. Bye for now.